Hello, uh, I am Darth Dunn, and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur. Oh, turn this in. Mm. So we captured Dead Cow's boat. That's about all that's happened last part. Has this translation been done? It's a little dirty translating this text. I once knew an all main monk who collected these kinds of tales. Anyway, I await your next find. I will need a day to translate this. I have another book she's here now. Tomorrow. Take care. You gave me a book. There it go. Oh, there we go. The Bear Leg Sisters, a tale of bewitching Bear Leg Sisters. Boy, this is long. For a time, every man of Ember Deep was rapturously in love with one of the Bear Leg Sisters, Astrid, Thora, and Helga. It was hard to argue, and many a dwarf lost life or limb trying. Which of the three was the most beautiful and enchanting? The place whence they came is not known, but it is generally believed that they ran away from home when very young. One can only speculate on the reason and whether they left by their own choice or by consequences of their beguiling effect, even as very young ladies. They thence moved from place to place, never staying long before wearing out their welcome or fleeing from a frothing manly mob and an enraged womanly populace. Their time amongst the men in, of the Ember Deep began when they were found floating aboard a raft by a diverted ship. They were not, it is told, on board, but a few minutes before their presence triggered something of a Donny Brook, such as such a ruckus would not be unexpected on a ship full of men long at sea. But this row was without equal. So irresistibly were the sisters' beauty into the diminutive diverge. Their novel tallness that the crew took complete leave of their wits. After a few days, the ship returned unexpectedly to Ember Deep, whereupon the sisters were ordered ashore. Before the captain confined them to quarters, specifically the captain's own quarters, he gave them a choice go ashore or off the plank. The sisters, who had grown bored of their time at sea, gladly obliged. In Ember Deep, the sisters caused a stir, on a stir unmatched even by their previous exploits, their towering height and presence. Her preference for shortened dress, dresses offered even the tallest man of Emberdeep an irresistible and hetero for unimagined view of their beauty. And the shorter man among them described an even more breathtaking vista. Jeez. Not only were the sisters beautiful and exotic, but each were capable of driving a man mad in her own way. Ashford for her long blonde hair and long legs, Thor for her sweet voice and laugh, and Helga for her way with a sword. The last is curious, as it was a fact often repeated of the youngest sister, but no one could ever recall seeing her handle a blade. But their stay was to be particularly brief. Beautiful women always inflamed jealousy, both men and women, and the Bear Lake sisters were no exception. Once they began appearing in bedrooms all over the Obsidian Isle, the women of the great dwarven houses howled for their expulsion, but the council, its members to a man smitten with the sisters, Refused, so it was until all three sisters were divorced, or were discovered, just in the bedchambers of a Rathiri envoy. The envoy himself managed to flee, but the sisters were not so fortunate. A quickly staged trial found them guilty of disquieting of the, or yeah, disquieting of the peace and other moral outrages and sentenced them cast into the sea. Their pleas for mercy fell on deaf ears as each surrendered their breath to the deep. To this day, divergent men take to the seas in secret hope of finding the sisters alive. Well and waiting on board a flimsy raft, and the back home pine for the Bear Lake sisters to return, even if for one night only. Alright. That was an interesting story. Don't need your scavs. That's, uh, I feel like these are never ending quests. So, until death. Way our key has revealed that there is a spy in the village of Cape Solas, someone who wishes to hurt 
Bridget Melloway and disrupt the offering ceremony. I should go to slow defense things somewhere. Didn't I have something to kill someone? Oh, it's that here. Oh, yeah, I can do that too. I'm gonna kill the scion and talk to this lady. Maybe back outside. Wait, oh, that's just the. Alright. Find anything new? Oh, my friend the scavenger! Listen to this, I have some wonderful news. I found another piece of parchment, only this one has a slightly different color to it. Older, perhaps, more weathered. It is all very odd. I seem to remember more when I focus, and your little quest has given me something to strive toward. There are numerous Diverga fastings across this island, but I wouldn't stop there. There are dark corners everywhere. Go get that treasure. I'm not gonna mark those. So they're just really fine. So just as done. I decided to help Tari Holstig exact revenge on the old scion, the outgoing spiritual leader of Cape Solas. She betrayed Tari and his mother and left them to die. The sign is located in the north. Am I close? Not even sort of close. Siren's den. The Losaflar and the Dokoflar sound like Romulans and Vulcans. I'm under attack already! Holy shit! I'm under attack by something big. Oh. You're not just bow. It actually has the damage. Oh, jeez. Problem with golems is that everything you have pretty much is imbued with magic. You stop pushing A to evade, what game was I playing when that does that? Whoop, up, I'm out of ammo. <clears throat> this isn't Dragon's Dogma. I can just spam arrows. Tenfold Fleary for the win. Give that murder stamina. Especially on hard mode. Which I will do when that gets backwards in battle. There's a quest up here. Is this the dude I'm supposed to... To the north. Yep. He's already telling me where to go. To the north. So would this be a situation of whipping out the daggers? Are these people already marked as enemy? Is that just different enemy? That's just different enemy. Do you know why I'm here already? Yes. Well, alright. You you attack first. Doesn't quite excuse the fact that I'm still coming here to kill her. Yay! Something I can't use. Sorcery. Man, it'd be nice if you could transfer between characters. So are you gonna fight me? Yes. You must face a car. Can you beat someone who has no fate? Ah. Of course they have to be annoying magic users. Uh, 
I want your... I wish the game had a lot better targeting system here. I want you dead. Yep. For Mitra Zurich? How'd you know I was here to kill you, by the way? Akara's Vician. What is this? Sorcery? I can't even wield it. Holy shit. Uh, this talisman bears similarities to the carvings and artifacts left by the uh, Athari. Arathi. Little is known about the face featured in the image, but it strikes fear into many. Castaways on Galazan believe it to be the visage of the god Akar. Well, it's a good thing you guys are about to get a new person. I can wear that outfit if I was a mage. This haunting golden hood was worn by members of the children of Arathel, an extinct cult that worshipped the magical beings known as Arathi. Their vestments are now worn by the Watchers, a group of guardians who protect the Scion, spiritual leader of the Galazan. Well, I just killed the old Scion, and now I must go protect the new Scion. Actually, the dude's nearby, I had to go talk to him first. Stop stopping my magic. Got that timing down there. Yeah. Too many invisible walls in this game. It has been done. What so you Level up. You killed her. I don't know what to feel. I've dreamt of this day ever since I was pulled from that stinking black raft. Since I watched them roll my mother in a shroud. And she was right. I don't feel better now that I've avenged their death. It just makes me miss her more. Thank you. Take this. It was mother's. I have my memories. Yeah, how about yourself? I was born on this island, raised to believe that the outside world held nothing for me. It was all lies. All right, well, good luck with that. I forgot what I was building up to. Stealth persuasion are done. Was I working on? I should probably put some stuff in dispelling. It looks like I was doing detect hidden. In blacksmithing. Rare equipment, you can use gems and equipment for crafting. Uh, I probably should put some in working town. Improvement by selling. Better quality shard drafts. Let's just go detect hidden. Uh, Upgrade you to your max. Passive. Hold on, let me look at finesse. What am I doing my finesse over here? <clears throat> upgrade my... Oh, shit. I need to upgrade everything when it comes to Fabian. I got the parry, though. Uh, I'm going to increase that... Max out bow, I can increase the bar of arrows. What the hell is this? Gambit. With an acrobatic leap, you, dist you distribute explosives across the battlefield that damage you. That sounds that does sound interesting. Execution. Uh you have discovered long hidden secrets of poison craft, enabling your poison attacks to temporize the opponents. Either way, I need to have raised myself six levels here. Or I can get you. I mean, I got us. I can level all this up. Uh, word bonus fate. Yeah. One here. And one here. Still not tier five. 
Actually, I didn't something new. Who was that? Adventurer. As an adventurer, you are experienced in all forms of combat and exploration. You are well accustomed to the shadows, wielding the arcane, or trading blows in melee. Because you are used to life on the road, you are tougher than the average Denzine and Emler. And pretty much bonus and everything. It was 70 for tier 5, right? 76, jeez. Nightblade. I will stick to being a ranger. And until death. Please don't be mad at me. <clears throat> oh, I didn't. I should check out what he gave me too. Give me a necklace. Uh, Strand of the Shifting Seas. Ooh. 5% chance to steal 14 health per hit in mana. Ooh, what do I have on? A barbed necklace. Equip. Now I can steal your stuff. I like that. Now I can steal health. What's this doing over here? Why is there just a bag of stuff here? Oh, grave hall's done. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to saving this new scion in a second. Grave hall has really been slowing down the story of Dead Cal. That's right, it doesn't drop you inside of it. That's a little annoying, as mentioned before. Hmm. So critical hits are based on your ability to move. I guess that makes sense. That's probably why rogues are so good. Where are you, Patty? First of all, let me, damn it, let me mark the quest. Grave Hall Tower. He's inside. Are we done? What? Yes, we are. Has Keep on rising. High to the heavens. I've sent for my for Ronwin, my friend in Cape Solace. She is willing to serve the keep as your envoy to foreign lands. If you require her services, she can be found in the embassy. How do I roll Grave Hall Keep? My liege, now that your throne room is prepared. You have an opportunity to truly help your Stop processing, computer. We will let it be known that whenever you sit upon your throne, you will hear petitions from anyone who comes before you. You may render judgment or offer help as you see fit, and your people will show their gratitude. I get to be king of Albion? Or actually queen, since I'm playing the female character? Goodbye. Neat! I finally get to sit on the throne. Hold up, we got something over here. Master of the Keep. Who are you? I am interested in diplomacy. Uh... Perhaps, in my service to Gravehall, I can atone for my failings and bring the peace that eluded me. My gifts failed me, however, when the first sparks of the Crystal War ignited. Perhaps nothing could have stopped it, but I still feel culpable. When great powers speak to each other, it has often been with my own voice. I have a way of getting people to ask for what they really want and accept what I am offering. I am interested in the public thing. I am humbled to serve Grave Hall Keep as its envoy to the world. Thank you for honoring me so. Without further ado, let's begin. By your command, I can embark on diplomatic missions to our closest neighbors across the sea. Shall we begin? 
How does this work? Once you've given me my mission, I will depart immediately to deliver whatever message or gesture you see fit. I will be away for as long as it takes to complete my mission. What do I get out of this gold? And buy other stuff? Here to report the result. Where can you? Our three closest neighbors are the Diverga of the Obsidian Isles to the northwest, the Varani of Dregshaw to the southeast, and the Lossalfar of the Icebrine Coast to the southwest. You may dispatch me to their capital cities, Ember Deep, Fort Olborn, or Renlock. What can you? With friendly neighbors, I can offer tribute, propose trade, collect gifts, or forge an alliance. With hostile powers, I can declare war, stage raids of goods, or collect spoils of war. Hey, actually, some moral choices here. espionage as well. You may entrust me to perform all manner of clandestine tasks. Let's begin. With whom should we engage in diplomacy? Uh, uh, I don't know which one's which. Hernlock. Yeah, let's help our cousin. and magical people. Hernlock is an outpost in the cold icebrine coast. What or we could raid them while being evil. Tribute, trade, spy, make a lion. Uh, tribute? How much do you want to give? Oh. 5,000 gold. This should improve relations between us. I'll let you know how it went when I'm back tomorrow. Good luck on your mission. I'm on my way out now. I shall see you soon with... I pray good news. This is interesting stuff. Nice scene. Alright, let me sit on my throne and see what this is all about. I have been looking for a friend of mine who was also aboard our ship when we wrecked. I believe she could have survived the crash, but I can't find her. Her name is Sister Siana. Will you find her for me? Where do you think she is? of the ship broke off as we approached the island and drifted west. Oh, help. Oh, think Lyria. I saw the front end of the ship floating to the western part of the island. I pray Sister Siana has found her way safely ashore. All right, camera, geez. Look for Sister... All the way over here, huh? Alright. Hmm, main story quest or no what Why? we'll look for her since it's now almost end of this part already. <clears throat> this is just constantly generating quests. Two mud hold festings. Turn on helmet hiding in the options menu if you like to see your character's face at all times, while still getting your helmet bonuses. I like it when you can do that, when you have cosmetic items and then you can keep those cosmetic items while changing out your rest of your outfit to get different stats. So when you have a look you like, you can keep it. Whoa. Of course this game doesn't quite do that, as seen with my mismatching pants like we got ourselves a troll not oh, the bear never mind I don't think you're a pile of rocks Woo. you guys are super resistant to that bleed why are there wolves here Oops, I was really late on that one. Too early on that one. Damn it! I don't bear. Have you seen bear? Let me figure out where that goes in that team. Troll hide hood. Probably the exact same thing, but just common instead of uncommon. Be gone with you. Um, she did. 
I woke up on this island, vaguely remembering the ship I was on being ripped in two. It doesn't appear that anyone else made it, but with Lyra's blessing, I hope that Priestess Jacinda found her way to safety as well. I recognize this island as Gallows End, reportedly the hideout of Dead Cow. Hopefully I can find some safety before he and his hanged men find me. Armor of efficiency, not as good as the Corsair shirt. In terms of just base defense. And doesn't all, all that stuff. Dun, 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 dun. You gotta finish the Traveler story. Still gotta do the Scolia Arcania. Oh no, we don't wanna do them. I mean, I could start their stuff and then do it alongside the Traveler stuff and then eventually make my way to Teeth and Naros and get that done out of the way and then finally continue on the main story. Jesus, there's still a lot of this game. <laughs> this is gonna be well over 100 parts. And there's like other time consuming games that I want to play. Which I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it at the same time as this game. First I need to get my Let's Play list down. I'm doing way too many at once. Do you need my services? It wouldn't surprise me. This filthy island is probably crawling with disease. I was afraid of the worst, and rightly so, it turns out. Thank you for bringing me this letter. It's comforting to have her final words. Received mysterious Targa. Sit on the throne. What is the Master of the Keep quest in your Let's see, now that I'm Lord of Great Hall Keep, I should occasionally sit on the throne and hear quack quack. Blah, hear the requests of those who live under my protection. Is that the new thing? Uh, it's probably under... Neither of those, whatever. Let's have a seat. Have a seat, right over here. When my ship wrecked on the island, the first thing I did was hide all my goods. Unfortunately, the place I chose is on the other side of the island. If you would go get them for me, I have a special shield in my inventory that's all yours. What kind of shield? I'm not sure, but it looks old. Probably even predates the Diverga on this island. I'll get them. Thank you so much. I marked the spot on your map. It'll be quite a trek. So we're at on the island exactly? Oh, we've been up there. But, this is the end of this part. And we'll do the main story, dead, main dead tell story. Uh, Gallows End. Be careful not to overwrite that character. And with that, we end this part. Thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye.